is a trickster. He's a schemer. And hear me, watch this. He cannot alter your salvation plan, but he can alter the victory plan God has for your life. All right, all right. Simply say this. He, once you are saved, the devil can't unsave you. But he can make your life so miserable by having you follow his plan that you won't even feel like you're saved. And the worst thing to be, or place to be in, is to be a victor, but looking like a victim. Since, since uh, Mr. Reverend Dr. Tory brought it up, I'm going to bring it up again. Last night, the man was the man of the fight. The man of the fight. I said the man of the fight. Come on. Last night, Mayweather was beating the brakes off this boy last night. But watch this. There was one judge. There was one judge who saw it even. This one judge had it 114-114 even. Now watch this. When he saw, when he heard that he won by a majority and not by a unanimous decision, he got upset. Because he knew that he beat the brakes off this boy last night. All right, now. Watch this. Me and you think just because you get saved that you have beat the brakes off the devil. All right, all right. And we get saved, Mr. Lickers, and we stop fighting. All right, all right. We get saved and we stop pursuing. On, we get saved and we stand in the right, fitness now. corner and we forget to keep on fighting the devil. Right, and you think you are winning because no one has caught you yet being slick. Say another law. In other words, there's something inside your flesh 
inside your nature that the enemy does not want to let you go and he wants to keep you hostage to keep your life from walking in total victory. But somebody say, Lord, give me total, absolute victory in every area of my life. Come on, how many of y'all meant that? Hey, come on, give God a hand for it. Come on. Family, it is the desire of God that you and I are aware of the snares and the traps of the enemy. And so my job is to point out the traps because, listen, I would be less than your pastor if I would know the traps of the enemy. I see them in front of you and at least not make you aware. Because watch this. I have come to this conclusion based on my own life. There are some traps the devil set for me that I don't fall in, I walk in. Maybe right. it's just me. There are some traps the devil set for the rest that, listen, he didn't even have to tell me to come on. I saw it. I liked it. And I went into it because, watch this, it was what I wanted to do. Besides me, anybody did something wrong, but you didn't know you wanted to do it. Family, that is a deceitful trap of the enemy. And if you and I are not aware of the trap, listen, yes, you will die and go to heaven. But listen, it is how I go to heaven. Amen. Come on, somebody. Right. It is how I go. Listen, I want to listen, be saved, but my life go down like a wild dog. See, listen, David, you are who was king of Israel. David, who was God's anointed man. David, who was God, the apple of God's eye. David died from a venereal disease. Oh, right, right now. Come on, David had y'all a major STD, and that killed him. Oh, all right, all right. The same man who killed the lions, the same man who killed the tigers, the same man who took, who took out a 10 foot giant had a disease to kill him. All right now. You know why? He couldn't keep his cloak down. Okay, I'm going to say it in high English. He couldn't keep his pants up to us. Somebody put a song and say, oh, it's too hot. It's too hot, baby. Dave was too hot. He couldn't find no shelter or no shade. Come on. And the enemy wasn't the devil trapped him. And he suffered. He suffered. And many of you are watching this. You are suffering spiritually and you don't even know it. Watch this. For a few moments, examine your own life. Many of you all have lost the joy of your salvation. Just the very joy, the pleasure of being saved. You totally lost it. Now watch this. You come to church, but your mind is, your body is healing me. But your mind is. Oh yeah. You come to church. But the joy of being saved, you lost that. Right, the joy of worship, you lost that. Right, the right. joy of praising God, you lost that. Right, and the right. enemy has trapped your life, and you don't even realize you've been trapped. Right. Isn't it maybe how the enemy can take our minds and twist our minds? Yes, yes. He gets us so caught up in what we want to do and how we want to do things. Watch this. He'll put people around us that we want to be like. All right, all right. He'll trap us. Yes, yes. Trying to be like other folk. You recall back in the 90s, they had a commercial that said, if I could be like Mike. Yeah. You had short guys, fat guys. All this is spending all that much money buying, buying joints. And uh, you couldn't jump with two inches before they bought them. <laughs> all right now, all right. Come on, buy his shoe. They're going to jump no higher. Yes, yeah. too. But you bought into the commercial and you said, well, if I can't be Mike, I'll be like Mike. You right. bought his jersey, you bought his shorts, you bought his gym shoes and his socks and still couldn't play no ball. All right, all right, all right, all right. But watch this, the devil is trapping you in a trap like this where you are not complacent. And because all your boys are doing it, now I'm going to do it. My girl do the same thing, so now I'm going to do it. And I want this in your spirit, man. There is a battle going on in your flesh. Yes. Because watch this. Your spirit man is telling you, don't do this. Right. Your flesh is saying, why not? Yes. Everybody else is 
doing it. All right now. Your spirit man is saying, take on the end of God and be like God has called you to be. And your flesh is saying, but, but look, but they having fun over there. And the devil tricks you and tell you, how come God don't want you to have fun with your life? He tell you dumb things like, like life is passing you by. All right now. Dumb stuff like, look at you being saved. It's boring, isn't it? And you buy into the, all that crazy stuff talking about, well, I guess saving is being boring. The reason saving is being boring to you is because you are not in love with the person oh, who saved you. Yeah. Oh, 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 I say it again. You have lost your first love. Listen, I've been with this girl 24 years. Now, I don't spend every day laughing. Like a bunch of 14 year olds. All right now. All right. All right. Sometimes I can just be in her presence and I'm cool with that. That's it. Sometimes I just sometimes I'm down there speaking. I just call her. She said, What do you want? Nothing. Just hear your voice. Now about this. After 24 years, you would have thought by now I'd be bored with her. My spirit said, oh, I said, hey girl, what you doing? Yeah. All right, all right, all right. All right. She goes, oh, oh, I'm talking to you. What you, what you doing? Yeah, I'm talking to you. What you doing? I'm talking to you, girl. What you doing? All right, all right. No, that's right. But watch this. Men of you all don't take the time to invest in your own relationship with God. Yeah. And the devil tells you what church is born. And watch this. You will go home and spend four hours at home doing absolutely nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you will sit at home and think about, I wonder what's going on at church. Had you brought all of yourself to church? You would know what's going on in church. Because yeah. what this to be told, and it should be told, many times when you were home, you were saying in your spirit, you know what, tonight I should have been in church. Today I should have been in church. And what the same devil that gave you an excuse to stay home is the same devil who had tortured your mind. Isn't it amazing that the, the very word I needed for my life, God gave it tonight, I stayed home. Somebody say trapped. Trapped. Listen, listen. The devil is not playing not with none of you. Not, not, not at all. Jesus said over in John chapter 10, verse 10, mm -hmm. a thief cometh not but for to steal, to kill, and destroy. And if you are experiencing destruction in your life, watch this, it may not even be his fault. Come it could right. be your fault. All right. All right. And many church folk are bringing destruction on their own lives. All right. All right. Listen, I know and I examine my own life, there's some hell that I went through that I did not have to go through had I stayed right. in the right position right. and followed God's right. plan. Yeah. And many of you right now, you are miserable. Church is not a place where you come to, 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 to hear God's word. You come because it, you want to soothe your own conscience. Right, to say right. I win. Right. But when I come to God's house, I come and get a word from right. God. Yeah. I come and see who got this room and see who has the what. When I step foot in God's house, God, I bet you hell all week. I to hear a word. Distracts us when the word is going forth. Come on now. All right. He'll take your mind to three in the afternoon and it's still at 11 o'clock. He'll take you someplace else all during service. All right. All right. Anything to keep you from embracing this world yeah. that is designed to bring change right. in your life. Right. Yes, yes. And watch this. What he'll do is he'll always show you how that word is popular for somebody else. Isn't it amazing how we can say, you know what, I was so and so was here that day. Come on now. And that word was for them. Alright, alright. But when you push the person by and tell them, say, today's word is for you. Today's word is for you. Amen. Because listen, God loves you so much. Yes, he does. That God will give your leader a word. Yes, yes he does. So you can make a decision. Come on now. Change your life purpose and get back on the right track. Yes. 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 Yes.
from down south. And we were going to see, I think, my grandfather. We got out there, let's see, we hit 57 south, went south, and then we turned and got on, on 12. And right there on 12 is a thing called a loop. Yes, it All right, now. We got out there on a loop, and we were going in circles about a half hour, just going around right circles. Right. And I'm like, I've been here before. I've been here before. All right, now. I've been here before. <laughs> and watch this. The person who knew where to go was in the last car. All right, now. Come on, we didn't have no cell phone back, back then, y'all. Right. And what this, somebody, the person in the front finally stopped and asked somebody else who knew where to get off. And watch this, the place to get off was right there and we kept on missing it. Yes. All right. All right. All right. In your life, many of your life are going in the same loop. That's right. The same circle. Watch this. Right. You're going to make the same mistake your parents made, the right. same right. dumped up your granddaddy made, the same dumped up big mama, big mama made. And watch this. Many of y'all won't jump off the loop. Come on, man. All right. All right. All right. All right. That's called generational curse. Right. Right now. And you'll be in the same cycle of sin. Come on, come on. Watch this. This is why I tell any parent, if you don't get rid of that monkey now, when you grow up, your child grows up, it's going to be a gorilla. Yes, come, on. Right now. All right. All right. come on. And so you must fight that devil now. Yes. And get in the book right now. Change now, watch this. What you thought you had control of before, that thing now has the control of you. See, watch this. See? Sex in itself, you are not bad. Come on, man, say sex is not bad. Now, come on, y'all can't get that spiritual. Come on, say sex is not bad. Come on, say sex. Sex. It's really good. But really oh, watch this. Watch this. Just find it. But watch this. What the devil has done is perverted what God created. Yes. Come on, all right. All right. It was sex was God's idea. Yes. This is why I don't understand how folks can say, well, I was born a, a homosexual. I was born a That's a choice. That's right. All right. Because what this, the truth of y'all, what this, God didn't make sex for your pleasure. No, he made not. sex for reproducing. Right 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 you call God so Adam and Eve said, go and replace the earth. Yes. That was for reproducing. Yes. Can't two men can't reproduce nothing? Right 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 two girls can't get nothing but a blister? But watch this, it is amazing, but oh, watch this, we have embraced it for a season of the devil has messed up the minds of the people, listen, before folk were in the closet, now church folk coming out the closet. Those we thought were saved, those, we, those folk we were, we, 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 we were singing their, their songs. All of a sudden, he come there big announcement. We all said, it's asking us, now guess what? I'm coming out too. Really? Right now. My question is, Rich, when are you in the closet? All right, all right. Come on. And what this? Here's the problem. I'm not saying we fight them for what they're doing. Listen, God tells us to still love them. But the bad part is when church folks begin right. to embrace it. Right. Like it's okay. Right. See, what this? What this? What this? Romans chapter 1. What this? In Romans chapter 1. God commands you and I as his children to not just stay away from it, but don't take pleasure in That's those right. that do it. That's right. That's right. All right. All right. See, here's our problem. Father, here we do. We'll see folk doing something and we'll take pleasure in their sin. So look at them. Ain't that you? No, it ain't you. No, it ain't you. That ain't you to me. What's true about a, a believer loving the sin of somebody else? What you should be doing is crying up to God that God will save them and keep them from the state of sin. But isn't it amazing, you all, how we we come on TV and we embrace we embrace sin? Listen, when I was coming up, man, listen, we never just see pictures of of, of Lucy and, and, and uh, Ricky and Ben. Never. Ricky had a bed, Lucy right. had a bed. Come on, even Fred and Woman had two beds. That's right. But now, they got cartoons with two folks in the same 
same man. Right now. Even in the 80s and 90s, they kind of covered it up. But now on prime time TV, they got somebody in there, but somebody else, and here you are watching this mess, and in your flesh, your flesh is responding to what you see. And watch this, the reason now you can't stop doing it is because you spend too much time giving attention to the things of the world. This is why if you listen, boys, if you got a pornography on your phone, take that phone and stomp on it until it breaks. See, watch this. What pornography does, it, 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 it amplifies a desire that God put inside of you. And now, pornography enhances your imagination. And now, watch this. Lust is conceived based on what you see. That's right. That's right. And your fantasy is the person, and you find yourself being the master of debate. Somebody said, try it. Isn't it amazing? 
The enemy always tells us the same lie. That's the, what's the same lie? The lie is, it won't catch me. Tell me anybody been there. The same lie, it won't happen to me. And everybody think that it won't get them until you got it. And now you want to shake it and get rid of it. All right now, all right. And it's a bad thing yeah. to be trapped and want to get out. All right. it's, it's like being in a bad relationship. All right, now, all right. Now you're trapped you can't get out. Watch this. Some folk got married because you wanted because you want to get the person away. They have a decent little job. You said, well, at least now I got tough security, and then they got fired. All right, all right, all right, all right. Now. And now you want to get out of the relationship because they're unemployed. No, God cannot let them out a marriage because the person got got, got fired. And sometimes folk make decisions off the wrong thing. Come on. You make decisions off how you feel. Well, he make me feel good. Really? Come on. Who, who was that? Who was that? Girl, come on. Come on, Come on, fish me. Listen, you don't build anything, anything off of how I feel right now. Here you are trying to build something or something that won't last past tonight. Watch this. You wonder how come folk keep on getting high? Because high don't last forever. Come on, listen. And God has placed something inside of all of us who are born again. God has placed a desire in us and you're going to somebody else to, to, to scratch an itch he can't scratch. Come on, somebody. And the devil had us trapped. Uh -huh. We're trapped. And our emotions, we're trapped. All right now. You're hurting and you want out, but you're trapped. Yeah. Emotions are all messed up. All right, all right. It's a bad feeling to make a bad decision and you yeah. wish you hadn't done it. Right, but right. sadly, anybody else done something real stupid oh, yeah. to God, I wish I hadn't done that. All right now. But there are some things in your life you cannot undo. What's this done? All right now. Watch this. This is why you have to be willing to make a decision. Watch this, y'all. Thinking, thinking is the most valuable commodity God gave a man. Yes, 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 yes. Thinking is a is this is a, a thing so precious that many of us don't even bother to do it. All right, all right, all right. That's the way you're saying. What would happen? Watch this now. If we would invest the time to simply think before we open our mouth. Yes. Come on. Yes. Come on. Right what would happen if we took the time to think yes. before we made a decision, before we made a move? If you would stop and think. Yes. Just think on somebody and say, think. Yes. Watch this. I wonder what Adam would have done mm -hmm. had Adam seen the bigger picture. Uh -huh. further advanced would your life be? Right. Had you stopped and saw the bigger picture? Uh -huh. How many folks would not be in your life right now had you stopped and looked at the bigger picture? Right. Well, some, things, some things we invite into our life that God did not plan for us to go through. Right. And now we're in trouble and we say, God, help me out this mess. And God said, I am with you in it. We don't take the time to think. We don't think that thinking is valuable. And we may act based off an emotion. Listen, you can't be governed by your emotions. Listen, I have learned. Listen, listen for 24 years with this girl, one of the things we made a decision on that when we are mad, we ain't talking right now. Now for the first six years, she didn't get, get the nipple. How to turn around right. on how to listen to me. Yes, Amen. Uh, oh, y'all quiet now, huh? Yeah. I said again the first six years, I'm a trainer. <laughs> Don't worry, y'all. I'm, I'm trained too. Right. Yeah, <laughs> oh, really? Let me down, watch it. <laughs> <laughs> we were 
was cool, man. Let me down, bitch. Yeah. But watch this. We made a decision that the one place is going to be peace is at my house. Come on, we don't have that in my house. I know that's right. And when we on staff, we don't talk. But it's for a season, not all night. And if you man, lean out the room for a bit, go compose yourself, shut yourself down, and say, all right, let's handle this thing differently. Yes. Right now. The Bible said a soft answer turns away wrath. Can you imagine if she hollered me and I hollered back at her? Right. Right. Then we got an art going back and forth, just hollering and screaming. Yep. Now, her pressure's up, and now I'm trying to find a store to get some bread from. Where the bread store is, right? <laughs> At the bread store, you don't ever find. <laughs> and you will never find. Amen. Come on. At the bread store, you won't ever find. Where you go? Get some bread. I'll be back. Here it is, day 400. I ain't found a bread, God. I ain't found a bread. Right now. Right. Oh, watch this. <laughs> watch, 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 watch. Is he comes with the first point I want to use, this thing called deception. Uh -huh. All right, all right. Come on, man, say deception. deception. The devil comes with a mirage. He causes many of us to be so uh, 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 impressed with the package until we don't take the time to discover what's in the box. All right, all right. This is being why, why many church folk are in bad relationships because we're impressed with what's in the package, or the outside of the package. And we have no clue of what's in the box. And watch this, have you ever, was it, by the time you unwrap the box, you realize you don't want what's in the, the package? <laughs> Think about it. See about this. Most men, y'all, are good actors. I'll put it again. Oh, listen. No, don't worry. I'm going to y'all in this too. Matter of fact, I'm going to start with y'all first. Come on. Come on. Me? Can I mean to say praise the Lord? Praise the Lord. Listen, women are some of the greatest actors. What? Watch this. They can cry on cue. They can lie, look you right in the face. Come on. Look you in the face and don't blink. Say, I ain't praying. you like to be rubbed in to make you forget about the lie that gets told. And now with our, with our small pea brains, we fall for because the rub feels good. What it is called deception. See what this men, women know how to stroke you just right. See what Because most men are low maintenance. We don't require a whole lot. Well, if you tell us how good we look, and then tell us we good and bad, we fall for that every time. Can I just tell the truth in church today? You stroke our ego, we will fall for it every time. Because the odds are, what this? Because most men don't feel as confident in themselves as they should be. And they want someone else to say, y'all, me and me, information as well. Yeah. Yeah. And see, watch this. What you want is to be loved, what he wants is to have sex. And so you give him sex until he tell you he loves you for the sex. Look, but listen, baby. He'll have all the sex in the world he can with you and leave you there. He don't love you, but you think he loves you because he said he did. He don't, he really don't love you, he loves what you do to him. Right. That's all it is. You call it whip, the word call it trapped. Right. 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 Things change now. You 
want out because now you say, well, he deceived me. You knew he was there up front. That's right. That's right. Listen, how do y'all know when a person is lying to you? Amen. I do. I do too, Pastor. Watch this. So, Sharon, I'll tell somebody else, listen, just because a person lies to me don't mean I tell them they're lying. Right. Exactly. That's right. Exactly. Right. Exactly. Right. Exactly. I just been keep it on talking. Find out right. how many lies they can tell. They gonna tell. Right. 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 And once I know they're lying, mm. in my mind, you are a liar. That's right. 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 And I may not tell you you're lying, but I don't care what you say. That's right. You can swear to God, right. Mary, Joseph, the angels. In my mind, you are a liar. Anybody know you liars? Listen, child, can't tell me nothing. That's right. But right. oh, watch this. There's some folks, watch this. You can know they're lying. Yes. And because you need what you need, you will believe a lie. All right. All no, right. it's a lie. Watch this. Watch this. You're buying into a dream. You know the person ain't got two damn niggas to live together. You're buying into because you want somebody to love you. All right. All right. Come on. How many of y'all want to be loved? Come on, all, right. all of us. If your hand didn't go, you are lying right now. Right. Everybody in here, everybody in here wants to be loved. But watch this. What would make someone leave the safety of a relationship to go and tap into a lie that someone else is telling you? You know why? Because maybe they have bought into a fantasy getting from another outside source. And this makes them feel good at the time. All right. And all of us want to have that happy feeling. Yes. All right now. To be told, many of us will do almost anything to make ourselves happy. Yes. All right. Because all right. we are, what this we're governed by our emotions. Right. Now what this, if I was the devil and I want to trap you, guess what I would give you? Right. Something that's going to give you that happy feeling. All right. All right. One of the things I've noticed, y'all, that we are embracing now a generation that thinks of some of the stupidest things to do that's to right. get attention. All right, now. Something. Any y'all watch the news last night? This 19 year old boy shot this boy in the head yes. over nothing? Over nothing. Yes. All right, now. In the Wicker Park area, shot this boy over some stupid stuff. Didn't make no sense. Watch this. Because the boy wanted to be on the news. Really? Wow. If he was this, if the boy really wanted to get on the news, give away a kidney. Give away your eyeball or something. Don't take a man's life to get on the news and be known for a day and a half. Now, this man's life is gone because you want to be famous for a day. But imagine, y'all, we think of someone, listen, I'm in the world, I'm in church folk. All right now, all right. We allow our minds to think of some of the stupidest things. And then we say, well, this is just how I am. That's not how you are. All the right. truth is, you've been trapped by the devil. All right. All right. All right. All right. Now, watch this. A child of God cannot be demon possessed, but All you right. can be demonically influenced. All All right. Right. All right. Because you are not a new creature. The Spirit of God now lives in you. But watch this. You can be saved and still follow the old boats. Right. Right. Let me see if I can see it like this man. It is possible to be employed by somebody else but still getting information from an old source. All right, now. All right. And there are some church folk who are still letting the devil download junk in your mind and you're still following that plan because that plan looks good. All right. All Watch right. this. It feels good. It tastes good. Watch this. The Bible says all this in this world is the lust of the flesh. All right. The lust of the eye. And the pride of life. Watch this. What are you craving for? That's keeping you out of the will of God. All right, all right. That's called the lust of the flesh. What is your flesh craving that's keeping you out of the perfect will of God? Because y'all, watch this. If you feel comfortable in the blessing God has given you now, how much more could God bless you if you do things the way you can do it? All right, all right now. Could it be the reason God can't prosper us the way he wants to? is because we are not allowing our life to be governed by his word. 
Let me give you a little scripture he used it. That was mine. Okay. Matthew 6, 33. Thank you, preacher. <laughs> Seek me first the kingdom of heaven and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. What this? We are so consumed with having the things until we'll do whatever it takes to get the things and forget that if we simply seek after God and make God first priority, the things will find you. Come on, push it right there. It'll find you. It'll find you. Listen, God had designed a system where the things you need for your life they'll find you. You don't have to look for them. Watch this, y'all. Watch this. I had a dog that went everywhere I went. When sometimes I got in my little state, I would go out on the roof of my mother's house. This dog was so committed to follow me. I didn't tell the dog to come follow me. The dog came because I was there. Watch this now. Push with this. I would leave the yard. If the gate was open, the dog would follow me out the yard. I never had to say, come here, Star, come on, go with me. Star came, Star followed because I was moving. All right, all right. Watch right. this. If you would make God your priority, all right, all right. and quit looking for a man, God send you one. Oh, right. 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 The devil plays on your emotion. Oh, yes, you yes, lonely. Yes, you are. Uh -huh. Pastor, you got a wife. You don't understand. I'm lonely. I'm, I'm by myself. How about I get up and pick you up a Bible and read it? Oh, Come on, put down those your dumb novels. They ain't you no way. They right, came right. out some knucklehead of another nation and you bought the book. All right, all right, Come on. Right. Well, you don't care, Doc. I got knees. All of us got some knees. Come on. But watch this. Knees are not bad if they're channeled in the right direction. Start doing something different. All right, all right, Come on. Every time your knees go up, don't mean your guts go up. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Come on. Man, when your love come down, your pain don't, don't come down with your love. Father, my 
Father, why hast thou forsaken me? It was not because he was on the cross. No, right, Once wrong, he came and died. Yes, all right, all right. It hurt him more that him and God were separated than it did be on the cross. Right, right. Because he had never ever been separated from the Father since the beginning. Yeah, and now right, he's now. on the cross being laid with your sins and my sins. He said, God, what's up with this? Alright, alright. Why have you left me? Watch this. It's because sin separates us from God. Alright now. Alright. Yes, it does. Alright. Now, if sin then separates us from God, it causes a breach in our fellowship. Yes. This would then denote why many folks have lost the joy of the salvation. Alright, alright now. Alright. Because if there has been a breach in our communication, then I don't really, I don't feel you. I this? I don't feel you like I used to. All right, all right now, all right now, all right. Come on, anybody remember when you first got saved? Oh yeah. Yes, Lord. Okay, I'm sorry. When you first got yes. saved, for real got saved. Yes. All right, for real, for real. Yes, for real. Yes. And there was a seal for God. Oh yes, yes. yes. You made every prayer meeting. You made every Bible class. Yes. You made sure you were there because you were the lead in the presence of God. But then yes. stuff started happening. Jesus said they won't see the kingdom. He did not suggest 
that they won't go to heaven. All right. What's now? Believe me, believe me, believe me. The kingdom of God is the established order of God. Uh -huh. Now watch this. He said, not everybody crying, Lord, Lord, yes. will enter into the rest that comes with being saved. Okay. That's all right.
control to the devil. Uh -huh. right, now. Jesus died on Calvary. Watch this to give man back control. All right, all right. And so the truth be told, and it should be told, the enlightenment for me is decision driven. Alright, alright. Right. How can you say it so with, 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 with a clear conscience? Because listen, if life was not decision driven, he would not have said, I said before you. Alright all right. now. Alright. He says, here's the path. Uh -huh. Death and life. Now I won't decide for you, but I will tell you what's the best choice. Alright now. Sister, 
How many of you girls wish you could be a virgin all over again? Don't raise your hand. Because that won't ever happen again. But I often tell you all that listen, when the devil causes you to make a bad decision, you often hate the person you made the choice with. They don't want to Satisfying a temporary fix, and we never look to tomorrow. Come on, somebody. You never had your traps. And there are many Christians who are, who are trapped by the enemy. Watch this. What you don't defeat now, your children will fight the same devil. I promise you. Your kids and your kids' kids will fight the same devil. Listen, only you know what struggle is in your life. Here's about how it goes. Today, if you're here, as a matter of fact, get a right here. Say, if there's something I can agree with you in prayer, ask them. Ask them. Ask them. Is there anything I can agree with you in prayer? What do you say? Say yes. Listen, here is what I want you to do. Give me a second. Thank you. 
anybody wants them to be the music go, just jump out of character. And because your spirit man is crying, I want to be free. Yes, yes, yes.
private heart. Yes, Lord. Belong in your soul. Yes, Lord. God, rearrange things in the future. Live to his destiny, Father. Let the dream you release on the inside of you. Let it come to pass. In the name of Jesus. For the glory of God. Touch it, Father. Everywhere it hurts. Yes, Lord. Touch it, God. In the name of Jesus. Father, build them up.